this video I'm going to show a bunch of bad brake pads. Take a, take a look at this guy here. What do you notice? Uneven wear. Uneven wear. What the heck would cause that? We're way down here on the bottom. We're wider than we are at the top. Pinching on something on the bottom sides. Not installed correctly. Could be a whole bunch of things, right? Could be a bad wheel bearing, mm -hmm. bad rotor, a bunch of stuff. But when you look at this, you go, oh crap, something's wrong, right? Mm -hmm. Every single brake pad in the world, when you look at this and see that's tapered like that, they're all wrong, right? No. This one's bad. There's one set of brakes out there. I don't know why. Happened to keep a set. Yamaha made a bite that the brake pads, when brand new, each one was tapered, they are actually cut at an angle. This is the only model in the world I know of. It's on older Yamaha like Maxims or whatnot. This is a tapered brake pad. It's the only one that I know of. I wanted to show you that just to throw you off a little bit. So here is the same pad like we have here. This is the same exact brake pad. Look at that. Boy, that one was super close. Now look at this. Is it discolored? No. No. So they just literally ran this. So that meant they weren't really hard on the brakes or grabbing. If you had it this thin and you were grabbing a handful of brakes on there, you'd hurt the rotor. ATV. Okay. Smeared metal to metal. That means part of the brake rotor actually was smearing into the brake pad. See where it was dragging or bent or. Uh, wheel was bent or the axle was loose or the wheel bearing was bad this could very well be a bad wheel bearing as well and then see where debris got in there and drug through at some point as well yeah. got a pretty bad one on this particular style of brake pad by the way do you see where it's hinged in here so this this sits and slides up against some you know retaining pins or whatnot if this were heavily gouged you'd have to look at the caliper as well Pretty sure this was a Polaris four-wheeler. Came in out of operation with some noise. So I wonder why. Just a little fine. Actually ran through and started using the metal backing plate. When I turn this sideways, look how thin this is. It's like razor blade sharp, right? But that's not the worst one. Come on, baby, I just saw you in here. Saw it yesterday. Obviously, I've kept a fair collection of these over time. Break it with your hands. Look at that. Pretty wild. Still not the worst one. And for the winner, the winner, winner, chicken dinner, the ultimate worst brake pad I have ever worked on, and there was no complaint. wore so long and so thin that the piston actually eventually pushed through the brake pad into the brake rotor and started to dig in and grind on the brake rotor. There is your winner, folks. You don't need no stinking pads. Un-freaking believable. Can you believe that? Super wild. So you're going to see some bad stuff out there. I'm going to show you the worst automotive rotor. When they went to pull the wheel off, this dropped out. Sick. Pretty wild stuff. The lesson to take away from this is many of these times, somebody's not complaining. You know, you don't know what you don't know.